caught in the crossfire. As crazy as that sound, she might even once, like I said, somebody. That's what I'm just saying. You like just said, said fuck white people. Because at the end of the day, that's what the fuck I can confirm. That they bought that, that uh, the Moorish community and the Spanish community stole my money off this fucking door. That's what the fuck I can confirm. Oh my God. Period. And like I said, it was another bitch I was working with in New York. I was fucking with at first. And then that bitch started clipping my bread off the door. So that's what I can confirm. Motherfuckers was clipping my money off the door. Now, uh, like I said, I don't want to deal with this European, this Caucasian if I don't have to. Wait, what? You, you see the flip flopping? You just said the white man is going to be your filter. Now you don't want to we gotta figure this shit out. Cause at the end of the day, that's what the fuck I can confirm. That they bought that that uh the Moorish community and the Spanish community stole oh. my money off this fucking door. That's what the fuck I can confirm. Period. And like I said, it was another bitch I was working with in New York. I was fucking with at first, and then that bitch started clipping my bread off the door. So that's what I can confirm. Motherfuckers was clipping my money off the door. Now, uh, like I said, I don't want to deal with this European, this Caucasian if I don't have to. You just said the white man was gonna be a. But it looks like it looks like I'm gonna still have. Like I said, it ain't looking good. Now, let's let's continue the story. Uh, what you call it? Yeah, that's a fact. Now this is fact. Like I said, I ain't in the streets. I don't go fuck with nobody. Say I ain't in the streets, but I'ma speak. Yo, this man, like then said, you I'm gonna don't stand for nothing. I ain't in the streets, but I'ma always speak back. You right, don't so stand this, on nothing. Right here, you right? don't stand for nothing. This is the nigga right here talking shit and then trying to be friendly. I'm not befriending nobody that's I'm not befriending nobody that's talking shit about me. Like I said, I don't know I don't know how the oh fuck y'all niggas do it, how the fuck that shit work in y'all niggas world. Every time but if you know. come up to me being disrespectful or you come up to me being ignorant, I'm not never doing shit for you. I'm not never fucking with you. I'm not never dealing with you. So it is what it is. It is what it is. I don't give a fuck if y'all niggas say I'm snitching or not. I'm saying what the fuck I want to say, and you can get shot in real life. Look, no, there it go. I don't give a fuck. They block it. Nah, that's what it is. But like I said, niggas want to try to drug me and rob me. Nigga, do you know how much shit I could have been winning that parole office and told them people? But drug you and rob you for what, nigga? You were already losing everything. I could see if you said it was the bank. The people who took your actual possessions? How are you saying the people that didn't take anything from you tried to drug you or rob you? But the people who actually took all of your shit? Nothing. Message! Nothing. It would have been more believable if you said the, the banks try to drug you and rob you because they're the ones who took your shit. But you're saying people who didn't take anything from you drugged and robbed you. Nigga, are you fucking serious? This nigga is fucking delusional. You are very delusional. You know how much shit I know? I remember when I remember when he got shot in the head on Theodore by Tyba. No, by you said nigga. I, I I heard this. Sh Wait, he said he shot Neef. Wasn't Neef the first person he said he killed? He said his name was Neef. He said he shot Neef. I remember that because I titled the video. Did Young Pharaoh shoot Neef? That remember when he was sitting on the throw statue? And he was like, hold on, I'm filming. All right, I'm not proud of it. This was his apology to the black community. The first fake apology. The reason why I shot Neef. You don't remember that? Neef, you feel me? I shot this bitch ass nigga Neef on Luck on Sycamore and Herman. You see, the, you see the game? Now, this is his apology to Neef, but I shot that bitch ass nigga Neef. One nigga that I'm apologizing to. I mean, I'm, I'm sincerely sorry for all of them. We shouldn't have fighting each other.
the brothers. We didn't know we was brothers. We didn't know we was kings and gods and come from royals. We, we thought we were on the TV and the, and the white man told us we was. The white man tricked us. That's true. Now, Lou, I'm gonna need you to not do that over here while I'm filming, bro. It's hella distracting, bro. You gotta do that. You see the narcissism right, now, right there. The white man tricked us. Girl. Now. That's hella distracting, me. bro. I'm gonna need you not to do Why that. Why did I shoot me? You feel me? Why did I shoot you? This, bitch this is a promotion. On Luck, on Sycamore and Herman. It's probably on camera. I just throw up all love me. You feel me? What? You said you shot me. You know how much shit I know? I remember when I remember when Leaf got shot in the head on Theodore by Ty Bug. By Ty Sosa. Nigga, I I I, I. See? Now it's Ty Sosa. Boy, Why did I shoot me? You fuck with me, the ancestors? Me with me. None of this shit was over me. I won't let y'all know. I didn't start none of this shit. Uh, Aries nigga started this shit. Aries started everything. You better be careful, little buddy. I heard the shot. I was sitting on side. And then I remember when As Ty, I remember when Ty Sosa got shot on Warden. I told you I'm the fucking Nigga, I heard the shot. I was trapped. I told you I'm the fucking vote. You heard what he said? I heard the shot. And when he said it, I said, this sounds like he was either there or he heard about it and he's taking credit for it. Now, this incident is a real case. Now, knowing young Pharaoh, he does a lot of research. You never know. This man could have looked this article up made some story up involving himself probably added some actual people he probably did know around buffalo new york he might have known the person that was involved or known the person that did the shooting and he's trying to take the rap for it it seems like he did that with that alien claim too when he may came up with that story you can tell that he took bits and pieces of uh prior uh abductees alleged abductees and mashed it all together as one to make it sound believable and that's what it sounds like he's doing with this situation here it seems like he might know the person that was involved or just know about the story and claimed it for his own i was right he was just there been on Sherman when Ty Sosa got shot on water. So don't play with me, nigga. I know everything that damn near went on in that town. I ain't never, my name ain't on nobody paperwork. You can't go get nobody paperwork. You can't go get nobody uh, paperwork in the world and say my name is on it. That's all I wanted to say. Bird snitched on me though. Bird told on me though and Prano hit that paperwork, period. And I've been, I've been tell, asking him for years about, like I said, nigga, I'm leaving the country. I'm gone. I so if he hid the paperwork, where is it? Where's your proof that he hid paperwork? Where, where is the paperwork? You keep saying he hid paperwork, but you haven't nigga, produced I it. I got to do with it, nigga. I'm going with Korea. I'm going with Korea, nigga. I don't can't say somebody Korea. hiding something. Nigga, let's get back to it. it. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. Cause nigga, you ain't gonna waste my time, nigga. I'm not. You ain't gonna waste my time. Y'all ain't gonna waste my time. All right, so this is me saying there is no. So the nigga, the nigga was talking shit about me. They gonna try to tag me and some shit talking about the people need us. But I'm like, nigga, if the people needed us, nigga, you should have just came to me like that. Don't come to me trying to bully or talk no shit to me and then uh try to flip it like, yo, let's be friends. The people need us. Like, nigga, where the fuck they do that at? Nigga, Where the you fuck just they do that? Fell for the so, Zulu twist. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, nigga, what? So I'm like, there is no we. I'm like, I seen you talking down on me before, saying you better than me, etc. I don't even know you. I'm like, I don't have to uh beef with anybody. Just stay in your lane. I'ma stay in mine. I'm like, nigga, I don't. Yeah, and that's exactly why I'm going over there with them. Fuck them. Yeah, facts, straight call chasing. I'm like, nigga, I, I talk shit and I turn up, but the fact that you saved all this shit. Tells me that you had every intention on doing this, whether Rashad Jamal got locked up or not. You had every intention at going at him, and you just needed an excuse. Message. That's why you keep pressing this. Oh, he she he threatened my kids. If you go to the video, he 
is not talking about Young Pharaoh specifically. He's talking about going to war with anybody in general. He was saying, you know, if I go to war with nigga, and he was like, he was like, fuck him, fuck the kids, and he was like, damn, fuck the kids. He was like, yeah, nigga, fuck them kids. It's war. He was talking about anybody in general. And I'm not sticking up for Richard Jamal because I just found out that he had three different kids in his cases. Oh my God! Jesus Christ! Oh hell no! Nigga, you did it. I got babies, you nasty pervert. But in this situation, that's why he keeps going so deep, like narrowing in on it. He threatened my kids. He said he, he threatened my kids. The fact that you saved all these messages, and this was before the beef, you had every intention on doing this shit in the first place. Message! Why would you even save all this shit before y'all even got into any type of beef? Because you had every intention on doing this shit. You just needed a reason. And that's why when you let people gas you up so quick about him saying something about your kids. It's based off my own confidence and in in, in my own beliefs and my ability to be successful in the lanes I want to go in. I'm happy with myself as an attorney and a journalist and a general. Stop it. Get some help. Like I, like I said, I don't, I don't clout chase or talk shit about other niggas. But like I said, black people have a problem. Black men have a problem. So yeah, now, you do have a problem. This is the nigga DMing me. Like I said, this is him messaging me. He's the purple. I'm the gray. This is him admitting that he started it. This is him. He said he fell. He said you fell for the bait trap. Me, you, and Kali, the only one solid. But you got it, killer. All respect lost ain't shit fake with me. How is that admitting that he started it? He's literally telling you that you fell for the bait trap, nigga. Meaning that you let somebody gas you up and tell you that he was talking about you when he wasn't and you believed it. That's what he means. It sounds like you're not even comprehending what the fuck he even saying. Message! It seems like you don't comprehend nothing anybody is saying. You only hear your what's in your mind and your own voice. Message. When Richard Booz was telling you on the phone, when you was like, y'all drugged me and blah, blah, blah. And he was like, somebody drugged you. What are you talking about? You still insisted that he admitted that he drugged you. It's the same thing we're here. He's clearly telling you that you fell for the trap. You let somebody bait you. He's clearly tell he's clearly telling you this shit. And you still trying to say that he admitted that he started. It's the same thing with Richard Booz. He told you he didn't do it. And you still trying to say that he admitted it. Nigga, you are fucking crazy. Stop it. Get some help. So I'm like, nigga. Why would you tell me you're going to kill my kids or, or threaten me and then say it's a bait trap? Why are you trying to bait me or trap me into anything? I don't know you. I don't care to know you. You're a dirty ass, crusty ass nigga that I don't know. Nigga, you look just as dirty and crusty as he does, nigga. So, and I'm not. But boom. So I said, what you gonna call it? I said... Nigga, y'all the same person. Both of y'all got dingy ass, dusty ass mustache. Both of y'all dreads is dusty than a motherfucker, and y'all both sit on the joint with shit with y'all shirt. What's the difference? You ain't miss nothing. You wouldn't be trying to bait trap anyone. You I ain't said you would just simply mind your business and grow from your own inner spirit. Then I said, and you're a complete stranger in my inbox and all throughout my uh, my comments, trying to get my attention uh, for what, LOL. I said, I don't know you. Uh, I said, I don't know you, nor do I care to know you. I'm not interested in arguing with the mentally suffering. <laughs> so I'm like, shit. 
That's why Richard Booz ain't arguing with you. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's always a nigga trying to start some shit talking about they from Chicago. You feel me? So I had to press the nigga on live. Say it with your chest, little ass nigga. Yeah, had him scared to drop that at him with his pussy ass. Cause I'm gonna keep it G real. I don't fuck with you cause you disrespecting me. You disrespect my hood by telling me take off my flag asking how gangster I was, nigga. You lucky on that day I was acting cool cuz I told you I ain't got time for that, but nigga, today I got time, cuz. Long story short, let's go. Nigga, he wasn't scared to drop the ad. Nobody's gonna drop their address on a live stream, my nigga. Who the fuck in their right mind is gonna drop their address on a live stream? With hundreds of people in the chat. Nigga, you are fucking out of your mind. How was he scared? He just wasn't going to drop his address. Like I said, I don't want to throw nobody's name in it, but somebody was there. Like I said, I ain't got to do no cap. And it's the same day. Matter of fact, I made that Kanye West guy in the dark. No cap. Long story short. Let's keep it pushing. Had him scared to drop that Addy. I bet he was scared to drop that Addy, though. Period. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god, stop fucking lying. Oh, nigga, you are fucking crazy. He threatened to kill me and my kids. I don't know you. He said, right. <laughs> Yo. He said, right to you not knowing him. You said, I don't. You killed, threatened to kill my kids. I don't know you. He said, right. Meaning, right to you not knowing him. He doesn't comprehend nothing nobody say. He only hears his own words. You can see it in every time he's talking to somebody or debating or arguing with somebody. He, he doesn't hear nothing they're saying. So like I said, I'm tired of motherfuckers trying to play with me like I'm crazy or act like I ain't hear what the fuck I heard. You didn't. You feel me? Like, don't. Don't play with me like I'm crazy or act like I ain't hear what the fuck I heard. Exactly. I heard what the fuck I heard. 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 Nigga, with the repeating yourself every 30 seconds. Yeah. Like, yo, like niggas kill me trying to tell me I ain't hear what the fuck I heard. Like, nigga, I heard what you said. And you just said, yeah. Why did you not say no? He said, yeah, to you not knowing him. Nigga, you Why did you not crazy. say no? He was scared. But like I said, even if he was scared, I ain't one of them niggas that I don't walk around trying to bully people or make people scared or trying to... I don't walk around like that. Feel what I'm saying? I don't get my rocks off. Like, I don't walk around doing all that extra So why do you keep bringing it up? I like to sit wine and smoke a little weed and walk around with bitches. That's what I do. I don't walk around on all that macho man tough shit. But nigga, don't play with me. Because you will run into... Nigga. Nigga, nigga, nigga. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. This nigga is annoying the fuck out of me for some reason in this live. It's probably because I'm tired of hearing this shit. It's like my nigga. When are you going to move on? When, when are you going to move on, bro? We don't believe you. No matter how many times you try to beat this I was drug story and change the story, we're not going to believe it. Nobody believes you were drug, my nigga. Except Storm Monroe. And that's because Storm Storm want to, want, want to get fucked. Oh, no, he didn't. Miss Peaches? Ain't nobody stupid. It's the only person that believe you is Storm, and Storm, that, that's, that's, that's because Storm will try to give you those yeeks. You might, you might have ran. He might have just. You said he walked around with the hiccups, not mother. women. But long story short, let's keep it pushing. So he admitted that he said exactly what the fuck we all heard him say. Now let's keep it pushing. I heard of you. Right. I, I said I never heard of you again. He said right. Why you said that? But I'm gonna let you know I'm taking that seriously. I 
I said, I don't know why you said Look, you didn't say right to, look, there you go lying. He said, I said, I never heard of you. He said, right. That's what you, so you, uh, you heard him say right <clears throat> to, um, I never heard of you. Now, when did he say right when he said, uh, I'm gonna kill the kids? He never said right to that. He only said right after I never heard of you. <laughs> Don't I do want to see that part. Don't ever, no, play with me. don't ever play with me. Don't ever play with me. Get you that. So don't ever play with me. Don't ever play with me. Don't ever play with me. Don't don't ever play with me. 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 Oh my god, nigga. Don't ever play with me. Don't ever play with me. Don't ever play with me. You sound like a fucking child. Don't ever play with me. Don't ever play with me. Wanna go there? You wanna go somewhere? You? I don't wanna go nowhere. I can't go with a bad bitch. I don't want to go nowhere in the world. I can't go with a bad bitch. Who want to go there? Who want to go there? <laughs> Who want to go there? Who want to go there? Hold on, Who let me I'll go back. I'll beat this shit out you to death. I'll beat this shit out you to death. I don't think there's nobody in Chicago that I won't kill and murder with my bare hands. I'm gonna be honest with you. What? So, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be all the way honest with you. I'm gonna be See, you yeah, keep talking about killing and murdering black people. That's all he's been talking about. He's evolving. He wants to kill a black person. Stop it. Get some help. Be all the way honest with you. I don't give a fuck if you from Chicago. I'm gonna be honest with you. Nigga, I'll beat the shit out you. I'll beat the shit out you to death. I'll beat the shit out you to death. I'll beat the shit out you to death. I'll beat the shit out you to death with my bare fucking hands. Man, there you go with that bullshit. So, don't ever play with me. 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 And I would tell y'all niggas from Chicago to suck my dick, but you might try to really do it because y'all niggas are some fucking faggots. You might try to really do it. So, period. I don't give a fuck. You never do it in Chicago. Young girl can't come to Chicago. Bitch, I'm, I, I, who, who want to go there? Who you wanna can't. Go there? You just say you want to go, go there. To Chicago. But earlier you was just saying you you've been to Chicago, you get love in Chicago. Now all of a sudden, niggas is gay, and you, you, you nigga you have mood swings. Message! Just earlier you was big in Chicago up talking about you been to Chicago more times than him. Now all of a sudden Chicago gay, and who want to go there? And you'll beat everybody up, nigga. You 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 need help. Who wanna go there? Who wanna go He's somewhere? He's a flip flopping ass nigga. He's a flip flopping his whole life. Get the flip flop shit on me. Flip flop is your shit. You ever seen a motherfucker flip flop on you and shit like that in your face? Go crazy to be flipping and shit. I don't wanna go nowhere in the world. I can't go with a bad bitch. Who wanna go there? Who wanna go there? Who wanna go there? Who wanna go there? And I already been there four, five, six, seven times. Walking around. I bet you I drove the security. I bet you I drove all the way to Chicago multiple times in sports cars and hopped out and walked around and ain't nobody never put their fucking hands on me. I bet you that. I bet you that. So don't ever play. I bet you you wasn't saying the shit that about Chicago that you're saying today. I bet you that. I bet you you was respectful. I bet you you ain't go out there talking about your beat niggas up with your bare hands. I bet you that. I bet you if you go out there now talking that stupid shit, you won't make it out. I bet you that. You talking that gangster shit all the way in Texas. Say that shit standing in the middle of Chicago, my nigga, since you so fucking tough. Say it with your chest, little ass nigga. I bet you that you won't do that. I bet you you won't do that. I hate when niggas talk that tough shit. I'll kill niggas in Chicago when niggas be like, come to Chicago. You be like, who wanna go there? Hassan Campbell did the same shit about Philly. When he just when he uh when he just uh got in trouble with Philly, talking that shit about Gilly. Talking that whole oh, ain't no thing talk all oh, Philly. I ain't never heard of y'all niggas doing this, that, and the third niggas be like, all right, come to Philly. Who wanna go there? This nigga scared. No, nigga talk that shit. You tough. You take any challenge, now all of a sudden they can tell you to slide through, pull up. Now all of a sudden is who wanna go there? This nigga's scared. Hey, <laughs> y'all niggas is weird. Yeah, he sound like a scratch CD, don't you write? Yellow firefish, that's the best way to put it. 
He like a rhinestone cowboy. Ryan, 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 Ryan. Y'all remember that movie? I think it was uh, what was it? High School High. Like a rhinestone cowboy. Ryan, 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 Ryan. That's him. Don't never play with me. Don't never play with me. Don't don't never play with me. 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 No God! Drop your ass! Nigga scared to drop that addy. Drop your ass! Hey, drop your ass! And how was he scared to drop his Addy? Even if he did drop his Addy, you didn't even let the man talk. How are you gonna be like this nigga was scared to drop his Addy? You didn't even let him talk. How the fuck was he even gonna drop his Addy if you screaming over top of him? Look, look, he's scared to drop his Addy. He's he's screaming over top of him. Even if he did drop his Addy, we wouldn't even been able to hear the nigga. Don't don't never play with me. 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 Good. Not saying. No, drop your ass. Drop your ass. Nigga scared to drop that addy. Drop your ass. Hey, drop your ass. Drop your ass. I'm coming, man. Drop your ass. So that's all I wanted to say. Don't play with me, nigga. Where was he scared to drop the addy? I'm I'm lost. I'm lost. You wouldn't let the man talk. He like, hey, YP, man. Hey man, let him get it out. Let him get it out. Drop the Eddie! AYP man, drop the Eddie! How, how can I drop the Drop the Eddie! Alright, my address is 212 something something. Drop the Eddie! Nigga. You didn't want him to drop the Eddie. That's why you kept screaming over top of him and and and, 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 and getting all emotional and having these outbursts. You really didn't want him to drop that Eddie. You wasn't even, even if he did drop the Addy, you weren't even listening for it. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Now, let's talk about him being a crusty ass, deep and ass fucking nigga. <clears throat> so how did he still, how's he This how's is he me running my university since 2015, 2016. Anybody that first subscribed or signed up to my university, you know it was youngfarrow.net before it was I University. But you know it's always been PAU. Cause my motto always been fuck Harvard, fuck Princeton, fuck Yale. So uh, he got it. He got it. Now, uh not only have I been running my university since 2015, 2016, before these fucking niggers try to steal my fucking shit with their crusty, dusty asses, fucking crusty. Okay, so if we going off your logic, you stole your shit from SETI. Message! Seti had a university before you. You got the whole idea of a university from Seti. Message. How you gonna say that when Seti had a university from before you, and damn near everything that's in your university is in Seti University, including the videos that you recorded. With. So how 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 is niggas stealing from you, and you stole the whole idea from Seti? Most of the videos that you got in the shit is with Seti. If we're going off of his logic, Seti had his university years before him. And everything that you got on your university, Seti has on his. So technically, you stole your shit from Seti. You better be careful, little buddy.